what does it mean to discern? You know, it's one of those words that is often understood or feels very churchy, right? What does it mean to discern something that we otherwise don't know? Think about it. You're dating someone, and you think about, is this the person I want to spend the rest of my life with? That's discerning. Maybe you went to college or got out of high school, and you go, what am I going to do with my life? That's discernment. And it takes a whole bunch of things along that road to figure it out, right? And the Christian community in that journey says, God is the place we begin. God is the place in God that we will come to understand where we are to go. What are we to do? St. Benedict, the 6th century saint and uh, monastic leader, is known to be the father of all Western monasticism. That's monks and nuns in a, a community of life dedicated to listening to God. They all, that is all monastics, monks and nuns, in community and individually, listen to a rule of life. And that rule of life for St. Benedict, off of which everybody else, everything else are, derives, is to first listen. Listen to Jesus. Listen to God. Out of that listening, not doing, God will call us as to what we will do. Out of listening to one another, listening to ourselves, and listening to God, our being, our very core, will emerge. We often don't take the time to listen with such intensity. Sabbath, Sabbath rest, that seventh day of the week, that commandment that God gives us through Moses to keep the Sabbath day and make it holy is what we are doing from July to November. I will be doing it myself on sabbatical, and St. John's, all of you will be doing it together here in this sacred space, in conversation, in prayer, and in calm. Listen, my friends. Discern, my friends. And we together, separately, will come to know God anew.